Hi guys, so today I'm going to be doing something a little bit different. I actually have two books I'm going to do a book review video on. And the reason why I'm doing this is because um, the next book review video I'm going to do is an all-Christmas book review video. So these are the last two books that I have that I don't want to keep because I'm afraid that by the time I read um, more for the for this for these two books for a book review video I'm gonna forget some of the stuff that happens in them because the one book has six stories in it and the other one is just one book so I'm gonna get started with this book now this book <laughs> I got this book at a book sale and it didn't come with a book jacket so I don't know what the book jacket dust jacket whatever you want to call it looks like it's just called The Modern Classics of Suspense. And like I said, there's six books. I did the first two in separate book review videos because I was planning on reading this book where I was going to read one story per book review video, but I ended up just reading the last four. So I'm not going to go into detail about the first two, but I'm going to tell you what stories are in this book. So the first one's Rebecca, the second one is Death and the Sky Above, the third one's The Thin Man, the fourth one is The Circular Staircase, the fifth one is Above Suspicion, and the sixth one is A Coffin for Demetrius. And they're all written by different authors, they're condensed versions of the bigger book. I think each book was like, each book in this set was like 200 plus pages and there were like every time you got to a different chapter in each of the books um there was like a little um illustration to tell you what was going to happen in that chapter and most of the chapters were like 10 to 14 chapters and some of the books the chapters were long some were short some were a combination of both so this is what it looks like. Here's the front of it. It just has like a lock on it, like a key lock whole thing. And here's the the spine it tells you all that are in here. So the first two books um, I did, like I said, so if you want to know about those two books, I did have videos on them. They're my last two, in my last two book review videos, Rebecca and the <coughs> Sky and, yeah, Rebecca and the second one, the Death, Death and the Sky Above. So the, fir the three, the four I feel like, well, let me do this. The last two books in this were Above Suspicion and The Coffin for Demetrius. And they both were kind of, like, similar in a way because in both of these books, they taught, both of the stories they talked about um, pre-World War I and stuff. And it was about um, Nazis and stuff like that. So I really don't, don't like to do book reviews on that because I feel like it's kind of, I feel like I'm, like, it's kind of offensive to talk about them. Like, if you're not talking about history, I don't know. But that was my, mine. And the, f the above suspicion was about this this man and this woman who are helping this guy track down something. And they have to go through all these spy networks. And in the process, they have to go into Germany, which is starting to um, get into the plot and Hitler and stuff like that, and they're kind they're kind of worried because they because especially the the man because he doesn't want his wife to get um, hurt or anything or in trouble, and then the second the sex the last book the Coffin for Demetrius takes place in Greece, and they're this guy is trying to find um what happened to this guy named Demetrius. He was doing all these awful things like embezzlement and doing things to women and stuff like that and they're trying to figure out where he is while the war while this war is going on with greek with greece greek with greece and germany um it's, it's not world war one yet it's pre-world war world one so it's like 1938 so they're war uh, greeks greece is in war with um germany and i think france at the time i'm not really sure i don't remember because that, that book i really didn't enjoy because it was just kind of like the one before it. It really didn't, like, surprise me. And The Thin Man <clears throat> is about this, um, like, they're all mostly the same thing. They're all mostly, like, about the, this, um, like, a couple, and they're trying to figure out, like, I thought when I got this book, there was going to be, like, suspense, so I'm like, okay, so it's going to be, like, horror 
books. And none of these books were, like, horror-ass, like, what I'm used to as defining horror in a way. So, I don't know. There is mostly just, like, murder mysteries. Like, they weren't horror to me. Like, I would just consider them mysteries, like, not suspense novels and stuff. So, The Thin Man was about um, this guy. He goes missing, and it was one of this guy's friends, and the, the his the husband and wife were, well, the husband was, not the wife, but the husband was more, like, of a detective, like, some guy would bring him detective cases and stuff, and he had to find this guy, he had to find the guy who killed him, and the guy who killed him was, like, this thin man that, you know, would get away with stuff because he was thin, or, like, he was fast or swift or something, I don't know why, but they called him the thin man. And the last one in this set that I'm going to tell you was the fourth one, and this is the Circular Staircase. Now, the Circular Staircase one was really good. It was about this woman who's um, in this, it's, this is kind of like a mansion-style house, and she's there with some of her family and some friends, and this person dies in her house, and she's trying to figure out um, all these secrets in this house, and she's starting to kind of, like, lose it a little bit. Because she doesn't know, like, oh my gosh, like, I didn't know this was here, and what if this is the guy who is still here that killed this woman, and stuff like that. It was a really good book. That one was the best one out of the six. So one out of six really wasn't that great. But, I mean, if you're into that kind of stuff, like, suspense, whatever, classic suspense, like, it's modern suspense ones, they're okay, but I wouldn't classify them as suspenseful. Like, I mean, they're more mis- I mean, I know, like, that's- part of, like, the mysteries stuff, but it's, it wasn't just, it just wasn't a great, like, nothing, like, really, like, lured me in. Another thing, I think, is because there were condensed versions, they, excuse me, they weren't the full story, they were just condensed, maybe that was why they weren't that great, in my opinion, but if you read the full, um, book of these, of any of these books, like, comment below and tell me if you really like them or not, or, I don't know, <laughs> or if you didn't like them, or if you want me to try and read, like, the full version, if I can find the full version one. So, this is the, one of the newest books by Stephen King, and it's called The Outsider. Now, I love Stephen King books. I, I think I read all of his books, um, that he's written so far. And the last couple books, I would say, like, Under the Dome was, like, a good one. And then the ones that came after it weren't that good. Because he was starting to get into more of, like, the detective suspense books and not, like, horror kind of books like he used to write. So when this book came out, I was like, it's a big book. It was 650 no, 500, no, 560 pages, and there were no chapters in it, so it was basically, like, it would go, like, it would say in the beginning, like, the day, the date, and then it would say, like, the title of the whole part, and then you would read the part, and then it would go on to the next thing, and it would tell you, like, a it would be, like, each part was kind of, like, either one to two days, I think one was, like, a couple, like, maybe four or five days, but basically this book was about this murder that happened, and this detective is, um, this detective found out that the guy, it, he got murdered really, really bad, it was a little kid, and he finds out that it was his baseball coach, this little league baseball coach, and all these witnesses said, you know, they would tell him their, how they seen him, you know, he was getting into the coach's truck, and all this stuff, they would see the coach later that day, and he was like, he had stains on his shirt, everything like that, and they would show him pictures of the sky, of the, um, I don't know, like, the guys they thought looked like him and stuff, they all said it was him, and so what happens is, is this other murder happens, and they say it's this person, and the guy from, they try to connect the dots to him, and basically what it is, is they said, well, maybe this guy, because he did have um, an alibi that he was away that week um, at a conference with these English department teachers, and they found out about his alibi and stuff like that, but by the time um, he gets to the court, um, his court 
testimony or whatever he gets shot at while he's entering the courthouse. So the detective um, helps f- gets help from um, Bill Hodge's wife, and Bill Hodge is from a, a trilogy he did called the Mr. Mercedes trilogy, that's what I call it. And um, they really wanted Bill to help, but Bill's died, so his wife is running his company and stuff. Like, they don't do that much, like, stuff. They just do, like, um, bailouts and kind of like what a bounty hunter kind of does, like, sort of like that. And so she decides to help them, and here they, they figure out that this has to be some outsider person because... One person can't be in two places at once. So they figure out that there's this outsider person who is somehow um, somehow morphing into these um, the guy that killed this little boy. And then this other crime that happened, that he was doing the same thing. So yeah, it was a really good book. So it was kind of like suspense and horror because they were trying to find, they called him the boogeyman. And it was a really good book. I really liked it. I mean, some of the, his books that I've read recently weren't that good. And I was like, oh my gosh, like, this book was finally, like, kind of like, it had a mixture of the mystery detective stuff, suspense, and then it has more, it had some horror stuff mixed into it, which I like. It, it was really, really good. I really liked it. So, <clears throat> and most of the chapters, like, I mean, most of the parts, like, if there were, if it was one day... Um, it went by faster. Like, I mean, all the chapters were, all the parts were really long in it. But the chapter parts, I still don't know why I'm saying chapters. The parts that were only consisted of one day were shorter than the other ones were. But it was a really good book. I really liked it. It was one of his better ones so far that I've read. There is one out, and I don't know if I read it before or not. And it's, it's a smaller book. And it's called Elevation. I have it. I got it at Walmart. The outsider book I got from Walmart. And it's only a hundred and some pages long. So I don't know what that one's going to be. I didn't read it yet. But I'm going to wait. Because like I said, I'm going to do um, Christmas book book review video next time. So see you guys next time with some Christmas book review videos. And I hope you guys have a wonderful day.